Hi guys, welcome back to the Napoleon Purtis YouTube channel. I'm Raja and I'm a global makeup artist at Napoleon Purtis. This Halloween, Napoleon Purtis is channeling ancient Greek mythology and specifically monsters and nymphs. I'm going to be showing you how to recreate a minotaur look, which is one of 12 characters this Halloween. So make sure you check out what's already been posted and stay tuned for what's to come. The Minotaur was a ferocious creature with the head of a bull and the body of a man. He dwelled in the center of the labyrinth and preyed on whoever dared to enter. So to start off with, I'm going to cleanse my skin with Rebirth of Venus Skin Renewal Cleansing Oil and I am obsessed with this product. It kind of melts into the skin and leaves your skin feeling fresh and hydrated. Next I'm moving on to primer because not to prime is a crime and I'm going to be applying this with the 23S brush which is definitely my favourite brush for applying primer. Next I'm going to create a monster like skin with the stick foundation and I'm going to be mixing that in with China Doll Gel Eyeliner in Forbidden city. I'm going to be pressing this on with the pro makeup sponge because I feel that this just gives me such an even coverage and I can kind of build it at my own pace. You can choose how opaque you make this. Um, you can just do a soft tint or you can kind of take it all the way to a grey like I have. To set everything in place I'm going to be using the close up powder and this is great because it doesn't deposit any colour onto the face but it sets everything perfectly. Next I'm going to do some shading with Colour Disc Clean Slate and I love using this colour. It's just so cold and works really really well for my Minotaur character. And I'm going to be focusing on the hollows of the face like my cheekbone, um, around my temple and then my jawline just to give me some dimension. Next I'm going to go in with the same colour disc but using the Sculpting Brush 10R to contour my lower lash line and my socket and also the bridge of my nose. And again this is just giving my Minotaur character some dimension and it's starting to break up the face after I've painted myself grey. And as you can see, I'm nice and contoured. Now moving on to highlighting, I'm mixing Foundation Stick Porcelain with China Doll Gel Liner Yang. And I'm going to be applying this with the 16B brush to the high points of my face. So I'm kind of enhancing the shading that I've already done by highlighting. And again, this is going to give my creature a lot more depth and dimension when it comes to the overall look. Next, I'm going to use the Light vs. Dark palette from the Mythology Pack. And I'm using the black shade with this sculpt brush 10R to really enhance um, my brow bone and make it stand out even more. I'm taking it through the socket and I'm enhancing my cheekbone as well. Moving on to the eye palette in Day Play which is brand new. I'm going to be using the two darkest shades at the bottom of the palette to give my face a little bit more dimension and depth. After I've used uh, lots of grey and black I want to kind of inject some warmth um, into the face and it's going to give my creature a little bit more life to the skin because it is quite cold. So I'm using it under my eye as well and you can decide how far you go with this it's really up to you so now the fun begins I'm gonna be creating some ridges on my brow bone and down through my nose I'm starting with China Doll gel eyeliner Yang and a really fine angle brush and I'm going to be simulating um, ridges in my brows and nose and you can see that I'm scrunching up my face to kind of see where my natural ridges or creases would sit and I'm starting by highlighting them and then I'm going to move on to shading either side of the highlighting to make them stand out and look even more three-dimensional. So now to shade these ridges and to make my character look even more angry, I'm going to be using a mixture of the black from the light versus dark palette and the two dark brown shades from the day play palette and on either side of the white that I've just placed I'm going to start shading to really create a realistic effect when it comes to the ridges that I've just drawn on. You can push this as much as you want. Um, I like using two or three colors to do this because it gives dimension and it just allows them to look like real wrinkles or ridges in the skin and if you imagine the Minotaur he was a beast so I really wanted to create a beast like structure to my face. And as you can see, it's looking nice and three-dimensional and it almost looks like I'm permanently angry, which is what I imagine a Minotaur to look like. Now moving on to the Minotaur nose, I really just want to create the effect that my nostrils are a lot bigger than they actually are. So think of how big a bull's nose is. 
using the same product, which is China Doll Gel Eyeliner in Yin, I'm going to be lining my inner waterlines to create some um, depth. And I know that I'm saying depth all the time, but this Minotaur is really all about depth. So I'm lining my eyes, I'm really making it quite dark, and then I'm using the same product again and a textured sponge to create some texture to my skin, almost like he's had a hard life living in the labyrinth all of those years. Um, and with this as well, it's really up to you. You can kind of go as heavy or as light as you want to. Now onto my artificial beard. I've just created a little bit of an artificial beard using some wigs that I found. And I'm gonna be sticking this on with spirit gum adhesive and just a medium sized concealer brush. Um, I'm just gonna be placing the glue in the area that I wanna stick my beard on. And then I'm gonna stick my beard down and hold it there for about five minutes so that it sticks nice and thoroughly. Now, when you've stuck the major hair piece on, you want to kind of go over and stick little clusters of hair um, around the major hair piece or the primary hair piece, just to give that um, realistic effect, like the hair is growing out of your skin, as you can see here. So as you can see, I've stuck on my beard and I've popped in some really cool contact lenses and now I'm going to be sticking on some prosthetic horns that I prepared earlier. So again, putting down the Spirit Gum um, adhesive uh, onto the area that I'll be sticking the horn and then waiting about five minutes for it to get tacky before you attempt to stick the horn on and as you can see this is really taking my look to the next level. So guys that's pretty much it for the makeup components of this look. Now I'm going to go away and pop some accessories on that I prepared earlier and I will see you back with the finished look. And to recreate this look these are your hero products. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the Napoleon Purtis YouTube channel. For all the products I've used, a full instructional and a face chart, check out napoleonpurtis.com. Happy Halloween. See you next time. This nose ring is not working. I just want to paint this thing off. <laughs> uh... I feel like I look pissed off. Yeah, well, it's hard not to with that nose. And I'm a global makeup artist. <laughs> <laughs>